can't wait to just sit and type on my keyboard. Honey, where are my keycaps? Ah. Uh, uh. Well, howdy, hey. Hippiotech here with a double feature. Yeah, two things in one. Not only will I be building the cutest keyboard ever seen, this one of one Hippiotech bongo. Wait, who took my keycaps? Why are they blank? Oh, well, I'll also be using blank keycaps for a week. Will I be able to type? Will I suffer? Stick around and find out. But because this is a double feature, I'll document the build process too, which should be really fun even if you're not into keyboards. Trust me. And I'll be using these Akko Rose switches, which, dear God, you guys have asked me to review these a million times. Holy moly, calm down. You know what? Yeehaw! Here's an extra howdy hey for all of you that hit the subscribe button. Now, that's not very many of you, so if you want an extra howdy hey, you better hit the subscribe button right now. It's free, unlike this keyboard. Add time. <laughs> Alfred? Hey, Hippio. Dude, you're moving? No. What's going on? I'm not moving. I just sold all my stuff to buy more keycaps. Group buys are gonna be the death of you. They look really good, right? Help. <laughs> we're gonna run an ad, we're gonna get a sponsor. Let's get you some money, Alfred, let's go. Now, you've probably heard a lot about Squarespace as it's the number one platform for building a website online. Now, hear me out, hear me out. I used it, I actually did use it, and I made a website to help save Alfred as he spent way too much money on group buys. It was incredibly easy to build. It honestly gave me a ton of tools to do a lot of different things. If I wanted to make an e-commerce website and sell some keyboards or I'd sell all of Alfred's personal collections, that way he could make a little bit of money, I could, and it'd be very easy to set up with Squarespace's e-commerce section. Go to squarespace.com in the description for a free trial. And if you're ready to build a website of your own and make it go public, then go to squarespace.com slash hippiotech and use code hippiotech to save 10% off your subscription. All right, let's go save Alfred. So to start my journey towards using blank keycaps, I had to start with a blank keyboard or that's at least what I told myself. In this case, I had Osum keyboards custom make me a Hippio bongo. That's a bongo board, but with Hippio headphones. They're purple and they're headphones and they're so cute and I love this so much. Now this is an acrylic stacked case. So it's a bunch of stacked acrylic pieces held together with a little like uh, beam thing. So it's actually cut out of a bunch of different pieces of acrylic. This gives it a super cool stacked effect, and it almost looks like a gemstone from the sides, which I really like. Now, if this is not the cutest keyboard ever, I'm gonna need you to definitely comment and tell me what's cuter, as you're 100% wrong, like literally wrong. This is carved in my favorite layout ever, which is the ID80's 75%. We'll get into that layout a little bit more later, but first, let me take it apart uh, with my little magic screw, and then remove layer by layer. Now, I felt really scared here as I thought I was gonna break off one of these pieces of acrylic, but I managed to do it without any trouble. So this leaves us with the plate, which actually just sits as one of the pieces of the case. Next, we have the PCB, which is the ID80 V2 PCB. If you don't know what that is, basically it's a hot swap 75% keyboard, and I like it quite a lot. Now, oh, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's Akko Roses, you freaking rascals, I finally did it. Yeah, look at look at me go, woohoo. You guys have seriously asked me to review these switches a million times. Oh, and E1 that lubed them for me gave me a cute little stamp. Now, honestly, as I've said before, these are literally just KTT Roses. I cannot tell any meaningful difference between KTT Roses, but hey, they're pretty good. And I tried to put them into just the plate, but that had no worky work, as I set it down and it did this every time. Very sad. So like any good problems in life, I solved it with gel gaskets. Wait, what, what problems do you solve with gel gaskets? Why is this in the script? This made it so the PCB and plate had a nice distance between them constantly, so there was no warpage while trying to put the switches in. It was actually super big brain. So honestly, I forgot stabilizers were a thing, so I had to go get some of those. And if you want to pick up some stabilizers or the lube I used to lube them, then click that link down in the description down below. Woohoo! Finally, it was time to assemble the board and I really, I'm kind of just stalling for this one. I really didn't want to use those blank keycaps, but I'll still give you some magic. Yeehaw. So because these switches were three pin, meaning that they didn't have the two extra little nubs on the bottom, they were a little bit annoying to put in, but I managed, I managed. Next, I just had to slot this back in on the pegs and then reassemble the board. Now I had definitely forgotten the order here, so I messed it up and then had to redo it before this magic. So look, it's gonna, the headphones are gonna swap. Ooh, magic. So congratulations, Hippio built a keyboard on the Hippio Tech keyboard building channel. That's so surprising. Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, Hippio Tech using blank keycaps for a week and his eternal suffering or whatever. Also, let's just take a second to appreciate how freaking clean this is. Oh, 
Like, I went for Hippiotech blue on the case, and then Hippiotech purple on the headphones. And these Akko roses are not quite Hippiotech pink, but I'll let it slide. Speaking of sliding, uh, let me throw in these keycaps. Now, these are Escape Keyboard Ramune keycaps, and I got them for free from Escape Keyboard a while back. Now, this isn't my first time using Escape Keyboard blanks, as I built my cyberboard with it, the video's in the top right, but I swapped those out after like a day with PBT Toby, so I really did not use them at all. These are palm keycaps, and they are incredibly high quality, although also incredibly expensive. They give the board a very clacky sound that we'll discover quite soon. Now, I thought I was pretty up for this challenge of using the keycaps for a week, and I was ready to put them on my board. Interestingly enough, my daily driver, the ID80 Crystal, has the same exact layout as this PCB, so I should be used to where all the keys are. However, it's gonna be weird not being able to look down when I need it. Also, since I'm here shilling, this keycap set on my crystal is Infinity Delight, a keycap set that I made, and it'll be live on the key company during summer of 2021. That's pretty soon or right now. Join my Discord for updates. Speaking of updates, it's time to update this board with some- oh, that didn't work. Okay, it's time to- there we go. Update the board with some keycaps. Mr. Clean? Is that you? Oh, no, it's my board. Okay, got it. Yeah, this is honestly one of the most gorgeous boards I've ever built. And it wasn't even a thousand dollars. Wow, that's so nice. But now you're asking, Hippio, what was your process like using it for a week? Well, it was an absolute struggle. Kind of. So for normal typing, it's actually really easy to use blank keycaps as someone that's used to normal typing. However, anytime I try and press a key like minus or plus or F8 or something weird and obscure, that's when the struggles kicked in. Another example is I'm editing this video right now with this keyboard. Wow, that's keyboardception. And a lot of my hotkeys with DaVinci Resolve are, are just like super obscure and it's literally like I can't find them. Where are they? But towards the end of the week, I actually got decently proficient. I found myself looking down at my keyboard less, and I mean, looking down literally doesn't help you when you can't see anything. And my fingers got more used to just pecking out the keys that I needed. However, I did still find myself having to hit that backspace quite a bit if I got a little bit lost. Although the more I used blanks, the less I had to spam the backspace. But here's my verdict. If you've never used blank keycaps before and you're not comfortable typing without looking at your keyboard, dear God, do not get blank keycaps. You will struggle so hard like this. Uh, uh. That was what my first day was like, a lot of that. But overall, I'm happy that I did this little challenge and I'll probably keep using this board from time to time as I really love this layout. Although I don't think I'll be using it for anything like video editing and I'd just be using it for normal typing. Would you guys use blank keycaps? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I'll be leaving you guys with a final sound test and typing test. Check out my words per minute to see how I actually did. I ask that you watch the full typing test to support my YouTube algorithm overlords and do a typing test of your own in the comments. Also, hit the like button and subscribe for more new content like this. Also, I have a join button down below. This is your number one way of supporting the channel. It gets you really cool perks like access to a special channel on my Discord and cool emotes. Finally, a special thank you to Exco, Matt Sunex, Acreation, Fenny, Joseph Krang, No Ray, Platypot, and Aquarius for hitting that join button. Yeehaw! Bye.